Columbia Creatives. It's a friend Maya again today, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to uh, make use of this beautiful vinegar material called Crinoline. I'm going to be teaching you simple Crinoline designs. Um, I'm going to be deliberately using wine so that uh, we'll be using one of the designs we create with this. Last um, work with the last tutorial I showed you. Okay, so come with me. Let's get into it. Right? Um, to work with your crinoline, all you'll be needing is, of course, your crinoline, um, your matching thread. Yeah, I'm going to be using a wine thread. I've threaded my needle already. Your needle, um, your scissors, and your measuring tape. That's all we're going to be needing to, to work with the crinoline. So today I'm going to be teaching you four, three different designs you can do with your crinoline. So let's start with the first one. The crinoline, why I love the crinoline is it's so flexible. Like you can do just about anything with a crinoline. Okay, so crinoline comes with this rope at the edge. I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, it comes with this rope at the edge. So, because of how flexible it is, you can do anything with it. So, you just pull it and they have a design already. So, for me, I like to cut it out. So, I just focus on the thread and use them. I don't like to see it in my work. I don't like to see this rope in my work. So, I just cut it. Alright, I'm going to be teaching you different things you can do with your crinoline. I cut out one and a half yards of this. Okay, so um, let's do this. So you want to hold one edge, pick one edge of the crinoline like this okay pull your thread then roll it it's better to make your thread very thick eight ropes this is actually four because i didn't know my wine thread as well make your thread your own thicker than this either six or eight so that when you pull it doesn't cut you know once you once your thread cuts that's the end of the work so you roll it round the edge then you pass it back the moment you pass it back it's firm already okay so once you've done this you have held one edge already so. so so there are different ways see that you pass your thread if you pass your thread through the middle this is what you're going to have of rolling it is if you don't the, the, the edges they're going to fray so the moment you roll you pass your needle back and like I said before the moment you pass your needle back and forth again for double security it is firm and it's not going anywhere so you want to trim off this edge this rough edge Careful not to cut your crinoline. You trim this off. <coughs> you trim this off as well. All 
right? So this is what we have. This is one design. Okay, so you can either do it this way. I mean, this is just <laughs> the basic crinoline work, right? There are other complicated things you can do with crinoline, but this is one you should know first of all, then you can begin to do other things. So you can either turn it, it's so flexible, an interesting material to work with. So if you want it, so you turn it how you want it. If you want yours to remain this way, you know, you have to also use your eyes, your creative eyes. You know that if you turn it this way, this covers the space. Okay. If you place it this way, you have a very beautiful design. Imagine placing this. So I'm going to be using this base to show us on the different designs. So imagine placing this on this work. You already have a wedding piece now. Okay. So if you have an embellishment, a brush, you just place it with your hot glue here. If you want to use a band, you place your band and you're good to go. You're good to go. So let's assume this is what we want to do. Um, let's say this is how you want yours to be. So people can twist their own and twist it and twist it. There are different things you can do with it. Though. The moment you twist it and twist it, are you saying that we have something else? What's this? It's a rose. It's a rose. So I can decide to do place a rose, maybe place it downwards like this. Or let's turn it out, turn it out, turn it out. Turn it out to have two roses. Are you seeing this? This is another design. I turned mine out. So are you seeing it? I turned mine with my two hands like this. I turned it like this and I have what? Two roses. Are you seeing it? One here, one here. So beautiful, right? So let's say we want to put this on our hat. See? Such a beautiful thing. This is one and a half yards. If you use one yard, it's going to be smaller than this. Okay. So we have two roses. So anybody looking at you from this side is going to see a beautiful thing. Anybody looking at you from this side is going to see another beautiful thing. So you have to really decide what you want to do before you do your final tacking. Okay, so if this is what you want, then you tack it back, fold back, fold, then you tack it to your base. Okay, so let's assume what we want is the other thing we did initially, which is the basic. But most people don't know that they can generate designs from this. So everybody just pleats the middle. People that do pleating of the middle, they just end up placing this. This is what everybody knows, or most people know. They don't know that they can actually turn it to get more beautiful designs or turn it out like this to get one rose. They don't know this. Okay, so now you know. Yay! Okay, so moving on, I'm going to be showing you. So, if this is what you want, you just stack it back and forth like this back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And that will be then you tack it to the base um, you're going to be using. Alright, so we'll just drop this and I'll show you another design. Come with me.